everybody welcome back to my channel for today it's gonna be something different i am not outside i will be shooting indoors using lights using a backdrop and using my son i have to bribe him with candy so please should ask him follows what i say i don't think i'm the only parent to ever bribe their child to do something we all do Before I start, thank you so much for watching and if you still haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe now and then click the bell button so you'll get notification on my future videos. Thank you very much. For today's video, as you can see, I am not outdoors, I'm inside our home and I'm going to show you how to take pictures inside using very simple setup using simple light and a backdrop and make paint-like image for today's portraits I will use my 35mm f1.4 which is what I use all the time for indoors especially when I'm shooting newborn babies and I will also use my 85mm on my Sony a7 III The light I'm going to be using is called Godox DD685S It's this one I've been using it for I would say about 4 years now This is the exact same one I bought that time So I would say it's very reliable I always use this on my newborn photo shoot I'll insert some pictures on the video because um, it's small and you can just you know put it in your bag it's very light as well you see and just use four batteries inside and you can either put this in your camera or you can use a trigger I have a trigger this one that one is the trigger for this flash the softbox I'm gonna use is the one beside me. This is called Sandis. It's very small. I don't really use this for my other my other shoes like newborn. I usually use the a, a bigger one, but for home it's it's good enough. I mean, it's this one right here. It's on the stand. It's quite small, as you can see. <laughs> and it's got silver or gold, like a silver inside. Yes. The good thing about this is because it's travel size, I can fit this in my bag easily. It comes this small size, you see? And then you can like open it up and it looks like like that. You can, oh, pop it open like this and you can easily fold it like so. Like that and just, you know, put it in its bag. I am also using a textured backdrop, which is right right there, as you can see. I got this one from Amazon, I think it was about um, 15 pounds, it's not really that expensive. I like textured ones, especially when I'm making painterly photos. Obviously, I'm also putting um, overlays of textures on my pictures, but if you have a backdrop like this, it just makes things much, much easier. They're very cheap as well. Also, the stand that I use are are also very cheap. I think they're like 20 pounds and you can see I'm, I'm in my kitchen slash living room so it doesn't take so much space to do this setup it's very easy very cheap and you can set it up very quickly and also put them away quick Hold 
Yeah, it's not. No. It's okay, right? Yes, that's healthy. So silly, you. <laughs> If you still haven't subscribed to my channel, please subscribe and click the bell button for notification on for notification on my future videos. Thank you very much for watching. Check out all the links that I put on the description box and keep safe, you guys. Keep safe. Bye now. Be safe. Goodbye. Bye. Thank you for watching. Thank you for watching. <laughs>